let's work through the steps from the in the cab section of the checklist. The first step is making sure that data sync is enabled in OpCenter. Then, accept received work plans to the machine. Set up auto track turn automation, defining field boundary offsets in the fields and boundaries screen. Set up your guidance by selecting your auto path or other track under set track. Choose the suggested defaults from the Harvest Setup menu. Set your resume preferences by clicking the Other Setup and Control Setup in the menu. While in Control Setup, Make sure your hydro handle buttons are set to your preference. Turn on your auto track so it is engaged when you press the button on the hydro handle. Input your max ground speed limit and engine load limit to their desired values. These limits work best if you start lower and raise them up route harvest as you understand what productivity looks like for your machine and conditions. Update the predictive yield background map color scaling to your preference. Choose the unloading on the go mode that works for your operation. Out here in the field, we are paired with a tractor with machine sync enabled, so we will be using variable for unloading on the go. Confirm your ground speed status LED is green. If you are just starting off harvest, it will be amber as you need to harvest for a few minutes on level terrain for the learning terrain impact on ground speed notification to go away. Confirm your limits for grain loss, foreign material, and broken grain. Make sure to take advantage of the tools to help set those limits. For broken grain and foreign material, use the grain quality limit setting tool. For grain loss, use the grain loss limit setting tool.